Physician assistants are medical providers who are licensed to diagnose and treat illnesses. They can also prescribe medication to patients. In this video, we will go over what they do, the job market for PAs, what kind of money they make, and the top industries and metro areas. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here from Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on different careers, where we cover statistics and other general information. And if you enjoy this video, give us a like to support this channel. Physician assistants, also known as PAs, practice medicine on teams with physicians, surgeons, and other healthcare workers. They can work in all areas of medicine. This could include family medicine, surgery, psychiatry, and primary care. Physician assistants like doctors tend to specialize in certain areas. For example, a physician assistant focusing on surgery may close incisions and provide care after the surgery. Another physician assistant might choose to focus on pediatrics, and they may examine children and give routine vaccinations. In order to become a physician assistant, you need a master's degree from an accredited educational program. All U.S. states require physician assistants to be licensed before they can begin working. Recently, the cost of these physician assistant programs have been rising. According to thepalife.com, as a state resident, the average cost of tuition for a public 27-month PA program is $79,941. This is just tuition and doesn't include other expenses like housing or fees. Like nurse practitioners, physician assistants are entitled to overtime when they work more than 40 hours a week. This means that every hour worked over 40 hours would get multiplied by 1.5 or sometimes they would earn double time in certain cases. This is a huge advantage that few other occupations have. Both physicians and lawyers do not earn overtime when they work more than 40 hours a week. The wage statistics that I'm sharing later in the video do not include overtime. Next, let's take a look at where physician assistants tend to work. 55%, the vast majority of physician assistants work in physician offices. 26% work in hospitals, 8% work for outpatient care centers, 3% work in education, and 2% work in employment services. Despite the vast majority of physician assistants working in physician offices, this isn't actually the most lucrative area for them to work in. On average, outpatient care centers pay physician assistants the most with an average wage of around $116,000 per year as a base salary. Hospitals are next and pay physician assistants around $112,000 per year. Employment services pay around $110,000. Physician offices where the vast majority of physician assistants work pay around $107,000 per year. And education pays the least with the average wage around $103,000 per year. Next, let's take a look at the national job market for physician assistants. In 1999, the government recorded around 57,000 jobs for physician assistants. About 20 years later, in 2018, the government recorded 114,710 jobs. So in about 20 years, the number of physician assistant jobs has risen by almost 58,000 jobs. This means that the number of PA jobs has doubled in just 20 years. The unemployment rate is also really low. Only in 2011 did unemployment spike to 4% for PAs. Most other years, the unemployment rate hovered around 1%. This is extremely low compared to other occupations. Other occupations that have unemployment rates this low include registered nurses and physical therapists. So there has been really solid job growth and very low unemployment for physician assistants over the past two decades. The next question is, will this continue? Next, let's take a look at the government jobs forecast for physician assistants. The government is very optimistic about the future job market. They are forecasting a 31% job growth for PAs from 2018 to 2028. There are very, very few occupations growing this quickly. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%. Demand for physician assistants will continue because of our aging population. Physician assistants can perform many of the same services as physicians, and they are much cheaper. They also have the ability to prescribe medication, which is extremely valuable. Physician assistants can also be trained much quicker than physicians. Hospitals trying to cut costs are relying more and more on physician assistants. States are also changing laws to allow physician assistants to perform more and more services. Next, let's take a look at what physician assistants earn nationally. In 1999, the average national wage was recorded at $50,650. By the year 2018, the government recorded the national wage at $108,430. So nationally, wages rose for physician assistants by $57,780 over just a period of 20 years. Just like the number of PA jobs, wages for PAs have doubled 
in just 20 years. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for physician assistance. The average wage is around $108,000 per year, but certain metro areas actually pay much more than this. So here are five really great metro areas for physician assistance. Number five on my list is the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania metro area. There's about 2,800 jobs, and the average wage in Philly is $108,880. Washington, D.C. is number four with about 2,300 jobs. The average wage is $110,210, which is about $1,700, $1,800 above the national average. Number three is L.A. There's about 3,000 jobs, and the average wage in L.A. is $113,430. Number two is the Big Apple, New York City. There's almost 11,000 jobs for PAs in the New York City metro area, and the average wage is almost $120,000. Number one on my list is the Houston, Texas metro area. There's almost 2,000 jobs, and the average wage in Houston is almost $125,000. This is far above the average national wage, and Houston is very affordable compared to New York City and LA. Becoming a physician assistant isn't easy. It requires a master's degree and some pretty expensive schooling, but the job prospects are really good, and the pay is very solid. Are you interested in becoming a physician assistant? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you next time.